All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to use For You Memories on your iPhone 13. The first thing you've got to do is go to your Photos app, and you're going to open that up. And then you're going to come down to the very bottom, all right? And you're going to hit For You. And it's going to, it's going to show you these memories. So if I go through here, you're going to see there's a bunch of different ones. And if you want to see all of them, you could go like that, and then you could run through them, you know, vertically. Let's just go to this golden hour. Now, I have to tell you that some of this music is copyright, so I'm going to have to add some uncopyrighted music underneath this. But what I want to do is just show you how you can go ahead and just play it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit this, and it's just going to play on the phone. And it's going through the different various pictures. And it also will go through um, some of your live pictures, like this one right here. See how it's moving? And then it just kind of like scrolls through them. And you can listen to the music, and you can change the music, and you can edit the title, and you can do a bunch of things. But this is how you get to it, and how you, um, you know, you observe it. You see how it's making that. You know, it's, it basically, it's got a whole bunch of photos that are kind of like the same. And it's just kind of put them all together. And that's a video there. So you can do videos and photos. And that's how you watch a memory movie on your phone. And there's many more things that you can do with this. You can edit the photos themselves. You can edit the music. Um, you can, you know, add photos and so forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this. And it's going to start to play. But what you want to do is after you've opened it, to edit it, you're going to tap it. It's going to give you this thing down here. You can stop it just by pressing on that. Now we can go up here. We can tap this uh, circle with the three little dots in it. Bam. And now it gives us our edit page. So you can, you know, edit to favorites. You can manage the photo. You can edit the title. Uh, you can make uh, a key photo, you know, the first photo. You can hide from the memory. You can get rid of it. You can airplay it on your TV. And you can make it short, medium, or long. So what we want to do in this video is we're going to manage the photos. So we're going to go in here. Now what it does is it gives me all the photos that are kind of like this. Now let's say I wanted to add this photo. What I would do is just touch it. Bam, now it's in there. And let's say I wanted to get rid of this photo here. I could just get rid of that. And then if there's any other ones that I'd want to put on there, let's say if I wanted to put, oh, this one on there and maybe get rid of this one. Bam. So that these are videos. You can tell these are videos. So you can do videos and photos in this. And if you're cool with all that, you've selected 16 of them, right? Or you can select them all if you wanted to. Then you just come up here to the top and you're just going to hit done. That is basically how you edit the photos on a memory movie. Next, we're going to show you how to edit the music on a uh, memories movie. It's going to open it up, right? And it's starting to, it'll probably start to play. But what I want to do is I want to touch it again. And it's going to give me this application at the bottom. And I'm going to hit the one that's... Whoops, let's do it again. I'm going to hit the music. Now, if you look, you're going to see there's different music here. And if I slide this way, it changes this window and it changes the music. You see that? I love Paris. Sunshine on my shoulders. You know, take five. These are all things that are auto-generated by, um, <laughs> by Apple. And you can pick whatever one you want. I can't play them because I get copyright violation for YouTube. So I'm not going to do that. But you're going to see also as I do that, it kind of changes the mood of the of here. Like here's the monochrome. So when you do that, you may be changing. You know, like look, see, there's now it's um, it's in black and white. Now it's in color. So it's kind of a way for you to kind of edit the music and also edit your video. And that's how you do it. Next, I'll show you how to edit the title of one of these memories movies in for you. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. It's going to open it up and start playing it. Um, you're not going to hear any music because it is copyrighted. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. It's going to stop it. I'm going to go up to the top, click that little button there, and then I'm going to go to Edit Title. I'm just going to click that. And then if we, all we got to do is change it, and let's put Sunset. How's that? Well, we just did it. Now if all we got to do is hit Save, and bam, Bob's your uncle. All right, now let's go ahead and get out of there and look. There it is, Sunset over the years. That's how you change the title on a memory movie. Next, I'm going to show you how to edit the key or first photo in your memories movie in For You. So I'm going to stop it here, and I'm going to go down here. I'm going to hit this button right here to stop it. Now, what's going to happen is I'll be able to go up here and press this, and then it's going to say Make Key Photo. 
And if I click that, that's going to be the key photo. Let me just do that. So this is the first starting photo that you'll see in it. Watch. All right, now let's say I wanted to change that. And, and I go up here to click this, but you'll notice when I do that, you don't see uh, a, a, a window to edit the key photo. So the only way that you can do this is you've got to stop it on the photo that you want. All right, like that one right there. Now I can come up here, I can hit this little circle with the three things in, and I can make that the key photo. And now that's the first photo, watch. Bam, <laughs> that's how you do it. So now this is playing, right? So what I can do to change the filters on it is I'm gonna go ahead and press on here. It's gonna give me this little uh, music app, but you gotta click. Once you do that, there's a couple ways you can change the filters. You can change the music and the filter at the same time, like I just did there. See the music change? And you can go through those, just like that. And those will change the music and it'll change your filter. But if you don't wanna do that, and you wanna go ahead and, and uh, do, the, do the filters by themselves, you come down here to that little filter icon, click it, and bam, Bob's your uncle. Now, if you this is bright, right? If I wanted to do the all black and white, I could click that. Then the circle shows up with a check, and now it's going to do that. And if I hit this, it'll hit done, and now all of these photos will be in black and white. Check them out. All right? So let's go back. Let's go back to bright. That's the one that I had it on, and we'll keep it there. I'm just going to go ahead and hit done, and bam, Bob's your uncle. Let's find that memory movie that we want. Let's click on it. Let's go ahead and touch it again and bring up our send box at the top right here. Let's click that. It's going to open up this little window here on the bottom. And then we can go ahead and hit messages. And it's going to prepare it. It takes a couple minutes. I mean, seconds or something. Bam. And now we're in that message app. It says new message. And then all you got to do is type in the name of where you want to send it. Like I could send it to my sister, Denise, and I could just type that in there. And then when I'm done, I would hit this little arrow here when it turns blue. But I'm not going to show you that because what happens is when I do that, it brings up all these other phone numbers. And I don't really want to disclose those on, uh, on a video when I'm making a video for YouTube. So anyway, that's how you do it. And then you just send it. Let's find that memory movie that we want. Let's click on it. Let's go ahead and touch it again and bring up our send box at the top right here. Let's click that. It's going to open up this little window here on the bottom, and it's going to give me some options. I want to save this to the photo app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to save video, and I'm going to click on that, and it's going to just go ahead and prepare it. Bam, it's done. Now, if we go back to our library, it should be right here. Bam, there it is. There you go. And that's how you do it. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Check out my other awesome videos where I show you how to do stuff like this. Peace out.